Today, we're gonna to count down my top five meads that I made in 2020. Let's get started. So let's go ahead and jump into this. This is a top five of 2020. These are all meads that I've made. A few of them were not my recipes, um, but they're ones that I really liked. Let's start with number five. Number five is the Can It Be A Mead episode number three, which was lime and peppercorn. Now I'll be linking all of these videos in the description if you'd like to watch them, but this one turned out to be fantastic. Lime and peppercorn is very beer-esque and I uh, really like that for one. The, the peppercorn complements lime well for one, but two, I think it, fitted, or it fits really well in, in the case of a mead. So I'm gonna be using peppercorns more often. It was pretty simple. I'll also throw the recipes up here, as you can see. So um, if you wanna try and make that, and of course the video, I might even play a clip of it as this is going on. So number five, lime and peppercorn. Let's go on to number four. Number four is Sansa's Lemon Mead. This is the first Game of Thrones mead recipe I made and uh, off of Alehorn, and it was fantastic. Um, first of all, it uses tea as part of the um, bodybuilding side of it, which is really nice. It also um, used, of course, lemon. Lemon and honey seem to go really well together, in my opinion. So I heavily enjoyed this one, and I'm currently in the process of making even more of those mead recipes. But I loved the Sansa's Lemon Mead. That's number four. Number three is my pineapple habanero mead. If you, without spoiling anything, if you know much about the channel, you know that this mead has been highly successful within the channel. And um, it is a pineapple habanero jam put into a traditional mead. Now, I, the stuff I get is from Pot Liquor Kitchen, and it is a company that makes a lot of jams for brewing and things, and it is fantastic. I actually taste tested some about two days ago, again, it's gotten even better with age. Pineapple, for one, is good. Uh, habanero combined, even better. When you add some sweetness, you get this like, I, I call it the sweet heat mean, that's the name for it, but it is fantastic. Of course, there's a video on this one if you would like to watch that, but um, holy cow. Pineapple habanero, number three. In second place, this one, number two and one, and first and second were really close. Second place is my apple pie boche that I made earlier this year. Um, the video came out not too long ago, but this mead literally tastes like liquid apple pie, in my opinion. It's one of the more fantastic meads I think I've ever made. Um, in top of, well, it's also in the top of the 2020 list, but also of all of my mead recipes. So it used a lot of baking spices, a lot of the things you would find in an apple pie, the Beauchang of the honey, attributed to a um, very, very nice caramel note that contrasted well with the apple pie flavoring. And the fun fact with this one is I used graham crackers. I threw graham crackers in to it and got some bready flavor, some more spice, super fantastic. There is a video on it, go check it out if you wanna make that. That of course in the recipes somewhere right here too. But that's number two. Let's get to number one, my favorite mead from 2020. All right, my favorite mead that I made in 2020 is the Mead Mosa. Now this is, a, this is something that I uh, heard about people making, making a combination of a mimosa and a mead, and I wanted to make a, mimo or a mead mosa. So what it is, is I, I have two versions. I have a version where you make a, um, sparkling traditional mead and then you mix it in with the orange juice that's not the one i'm talking about the one that one that wins this is the bottled version it is literally a bottled mead mosa it was uh carbonate bottle carbonated tastes exactly like it i've given it to friends they love it so it's also one of my favorites uh, the sad part of it is i've only made currently about uh i made a gallon of it so i need to make a huge batch of it because it is fantastic Fantastic. So, and I'll throw up the recipes here as well. But the Mead Mosa takes the like cake for this for 2020. I have loved trying to make that, and I will absolutely make it. I highly suggest you go try it yourself. It's not too hard, and it's fantastic. So, this has been the top five of 2020. 
2020 and I will of course be doing this for 2021 and I love getting to make these meads. If you have some mead recipes you'd like for me to try, maybe it'll make my top of 2021 list, um, go ahead and leave them below. If you would like for me to make something specific, I love getting to do this. I hope you guys will go check out those videos. All of them are in the description and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. So with that, cheers. Cheers.